hello everyone welcome to our lesson today and before we start the lesson make sure you have the following you have a pen you have a uh, and you have an english exercise book whereby you are going to write these notes after the lesson and then you do an exercise i'm happy with the few who always do the exercise and uh, forward it to me for marking the others follow that example the moment you finish the work you take a picture of it send it to my number to marking that one will help you to know your areas of weakness or an area that you did not understand and you can even consult more so feel welcome and enjoy the lesson we are going to talk about home home i know everyone has a home you stay at home you want to see some of the vocabularies that are used at home some of the vocabularies that are used at home is what we want to look at today it's a very interesting lesson so make sure you pay attention to it and if there's there's an area that at the end of the lesson you'll feel like you don't understand you can you're free to ask so a home is a place where a person or a, or animal live a place where a person or animal live we have the following vocabularies related to home the all these vocabularies are related to home you will find them at home whatever is written here is there at home where you are living the first one we have bathroom we have bathroom number two we have cooker number three we have lamp number four we have shower number five we have bowl number six we have we have fireplace number seven we have lantern number eight we have switch number nine we have bulk number ten we have flame number eleven we have neighbors number twelve we have vegetable garden number thirteen you have container number fourteen you have flower garden number 15 you have bath and lastly number 16 you have veranda i think you've come across these words you have come across these vocabularies at home you want to see their meanings and also look at some pictures of what are things are found at home every word i've mentioned here i've said it's found at home it's found at home so i will help you understand their meaning and know maybe where they are actually used these are some of the pictures of the things that are found at home or some of the vocabularies that i've mentioned above you have the lantern i don't know if you have ever seen this one for some of you live here in towns if you go to rural areas you will find a lantern where they put paraffin and they use it to to light their houses for those people who don't have electricity most of them use the lantern one we have the kettle kettle most people also in the rural and the urban areas use these to for tea i know you have it even at home when you want to warm tea or you want to keep tea inside you use a kettle you have a sofa i think everyone has got this at home we are it's found in the sitting room where you sit or the visitors sit you have a cooker you have a cooker i think everyone has got this where you cook your food next let's now pupils look at the meaning of those uh, vocabulary the first one we said the compound and the, these meanings are in example of sentences the first one is their compound is surrounded by a fence their compound is surrounded by a fence inside the compound is their house inside the compound is their house they have a small vegetable garden behind the house they have a small vegetable garden behind the house so in the first sentence we have got three vocabularies relating to home the compound their compound around the house is surrounded by a fence surrounded by a fence inside the compound is their house there is a house where we live in and they have a small vegetable garden behind 
the house a vegetable garden a small farm where they grow things like vegetables that is kale onions tomatoes such things vegetables at home i don't know if you have a compound at home don't know but mostly found in the rural areas because this town very very rare cases number two things oh sorry it was things supposed to be things here things not things things such as tables chairs beds that are found in the house are called furniture are called furniture so furniture are things that are found in the house they include tables they include chairs they include beds all those things that are found in the bedroom in the sitting room are known as the furnitures number three we have the word flame is a bright orange fire that comes from something that is burning when fire is burning fire even if you are using a, a, a gas cooker there's that orange fire that comes out the orange fire whether it's a gas or you're using firewood you'll see that um, bright orange that comes out from the burning fire is known as a flame it's known as a flame number four we have during the cold season we normally build fire in the fireplace only build fire in the fireplace to keep us warm some of our houses have the fireplace where you just light the fire to keep yourself warm during the cold season Odol carefully carried the lantern from the living room to the bedroom i've already shown you in the picture above the lantern and i've told you maybe some of you have never seen it yeah, in urban areas but if you go to rural areas where some of people there don't have electricity they use a lantern to light the houses next we have uh, to get to our house you follow this path until you see a red gate a bath is that such a thin or a small way where people passes or follows to reach a place kind of a road but a, a small one or a thin one where people use if you want to walk it's, it's a walking it can be a walking bath it can be a bicycle bath that you use to walk or to ride your bicycle to reach us at a certain point especially when you are heading to a compound or someone house you use a bath number next we have uh, the cooker Kadenge's new cooker is already in the kitchen. Kadenge's new cooker is already in the kitchen. This one I know you have it, you have it, you've seen it. It's there at home. Every house has got a cooker which is used to cook food. Kitchen is a place where cook is being prepared at home. All bowls and plates are clean. All bowls and plates are clean. Bowls and plates, these are utensils that are used in the kitchen. We sat on the veranda and told interesting stories last Saturday. A veranda in our home or our houses there veranda where you can sit, you can enjoy, enjoy the sunlight or the the fresh air from outside as you tell stories. So our most of our houses I've seen they have got the veranda where kids can play there. You can also sit there, enjoy the fresh air. As you tell stories lastly we have the kitchen is the room in a home where food is uh, prepared and cooked kitchen is a room in a home where food is prepared and cooked so people we've come to the end of the